Just about any time Mark Bloomquist went out to dinner, someone at a nearby table ended up with a free meal. Mark happily footed the bill, insisting on blessing people however he could. That's the spirit Mark always carried with him, making him a fine choice to posthumously receive the Outstanding Alumni Award from Bemidji State University. He made everyone around him feel important. He made everybody feel special, said Jen Bloomquist, Mark's wife. He was very outgoing and thrived being around people. He was very positive, always lifting people up. Mark followed in both his parents' footsteps and came to Bemidji State. As a freshman, his grades were low and his choices were not always wise. But a stern straightening out from his father helped him correct course and mature into the man that many knew him to be. Mark graduated in 1996 with a bachelor's degree in criminal justice and began his career as a probation officer with Candy Ojai County Community Corrections that fall. He earned a number of promotions over the years and eventually became a district supervisor starting in 2008, managing a number of offices in northern Minnesota. Mark's passion for his work led him to begin adjunct teaching at BSU in 2007, which he continued into 2021. He enjoyed the students, and especially those who were eager and excited to learn. He conducted his classes by bringing in real-world experiences and experts from the field. Through his engaging style, Mark had a knack for drawing out the very best in his students. In 2017, Mark and Jen also purchased Cedar Rapids Lodge in Ten Strike. In addition to his full-time job with the Department of Corrections and adjunct teaching, Mark also assumed all the duties associated with being a resort owner. But the family-run business allowed him to spend time working with his kids and engaging with patrons, making Mark's outgoing personality a perfect fit for that line of work. Mark was also a tireless steward for the less fortunate in his community. He developed a program called Kingdom Builders that distributed donated funds to in-need community members without the hassle or delays in red tape. And he was also active in his church and youth sports volunteerism. He just always chose to see the good in people, and he was always looking for a way to make things better, Jen said. He wasn't the kind of person who sat around and complained about how things were. He would look for a way to make things better and put it into practice. He wasn't expecting someone else to do that. He took action. By living such a full life, Mark accumulated plenty of tall tales. He loved telling stories and always had one at the ready from his youth in Little Fork. He often stumped his wife and kids on how such an adventure could possibly be true. Today, new generations will have exciting stories of their own to tell because of Mark. One of his greatest passions was coaching middle school basketball, a level he loved because everybody played and developed fundamentally. Of course, Mark was sure to make it about more than just basketball. He enjoyed teaching the kids to be good people, not just good basketball players. He knew that when you're in a small town, everybody has to pitch in and do their part in order to have those programs and things available to kids, Jen said. He was always willing. If somebody asked him to do something, he always said yes. Mark died in December 2021, but leaves behind a legacy to this day. His service to his profession, his community, and his neighbors have made a lasting impact felt long after the final whistle at practice or the last bite of a free meal. Mark's relationship with Jesus was really important to him and was the reason he did so many things, Jen said. His faith was strong and he loved serving people any way he could.